In this video, we will discuss about energy loss due to sharing of charge between two conductors. Please see my last video on sharing of charges between two conductors to understand the topic clearly. We have two conductors of different capacity and different potential and charges and if V1 greater than V2 then charges will flow from the first to the second that is from left to right. Finally they will, acqu they will acquire a common potential V and we all know V will be C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2. Now before joining total energy of the system is half C1 V1 square plus half C2 V2 square. We call it U1. Now after joining total energy will be U2 equals to half C1 V square plus half C2 V square where V is the common potential and we can write V as C1 V1 plus C2 V2 divided by C1 plus C2 to prove this thing we have to see my last video. Now to find the energy loss we have to subtract U2 from U1. I call it delta U. putting the values C1, C2 will be the LCM Look at the calculation very carefully. Here C1 V1 square and C2 V2 square, C2 square V2 square will cancel out and we take C1 C2 common. Finally will have delta u as half c1 c2 v1 minus v2 whole square divided by c1 plus c2 which is a positive quantity therefore energy is indeed lost during sharing of charges now you will say where does this energy go energy can't be destroyed so this energy is basically converted into other form of energies like light, sound and heat energies.